I am Dr. Pankaj Parekh, practicing pediatrics for more than 40 years. I have seen increased incidence of cuff and breathlessness in the last 20 years. Now there are two, three problems which keep on bothering children. The doctor, my child, has not eaten anything, still why is cuff getting cuff and why is still getting breathless? There are a few things which parents must understand. The one thing known as a hyperreactive airway disease, also known as a allergic bronchitis. And on the other end, there is a disease known as asthma, which everybody is aware of. Allergic bronchitis usually happens in early childhood. And by and large, 10 years of age, it goes away. It usually starts with a cold, cough, and within a day or two, the patient becomes breathless. Asthma can start early, but usually starts little later than bronchitis. It can be spontaneous. On the spot, the patient was comfortable half an hour back can become acutely breathless. Allergic bronchitis is usually bronchitis precipitated by some allergen in the form of food, in the form of inhalation that means polluted air or in the form of some drug reaction where they can cause uh, this acute breathlessness following cough. Even viral infections of the respiratory tract can initially start with the cough and go into breathlessness. Asthma is by and large known as an allergic disease but it's basically inflammatory disease where all the windpipes get swollen and the patient find difficulty in breathing. Both these diseases have been treated with various medications. We call them as a bronchodilators and anti-inflammatory agents. Bronchodilator means it relaxes the breathing tube so the patient can breathe easily, which can be given in the form of oral medication, nebulization or in the form of inhalation which they can take for a long time. Anti-inflammatory, amongst them, the most commonly used is corticosteroids in a very sick patient. You have to give oral corticosteroid or injectable corticosteroids, but otherwise corticosteroid inhalation is given for a long time in cases of asthma. All these medications do help, but in addition to this, there are some herbal medications which also have very helpful effect in bronchodilatation and they also act as an anti-inflammatory agent. One of the medicine which I have been using for around decade or more, medicine which contains vasa, haldi and kantakari. Now these medicines uh, are known anti-inflammatory agent. We have been using this one way or other in our daily practices what we call as a grandma medicines. But these medicines in combinations have done wonderful job. When I've used these in my patients for a longer time, they've been very effective in reducing or preventing attacks of breathlessness. There are no side effects like sedation and constipation. Very safe to use even for a prolonged period of time. I personally sincerely recommend these medicines in case of bronchitis, recurrent bronchitis and asthma.